Hey everyone, this is how I made my bat suit. It's gonna be a really quick video. So for the Crimson Verse Flash Season 3, we introduced Batman and I wanted my own kind of take on him. I wanted his own kind of suit. I didn't want to rip off the previous suit that was shown before in films. So we have a mix of different things. We have a mix of all different types. Most of the pieces are from either Etsy or Amazon. Minus my shoes, which I actually had from Iceland. I just went over them with a black spray can and removed the logo. The whole suit really is just pretty much a lot of sewing and a lot of using spray cans and a lot of cutting up. <laughs> I should actually get some kind of combat boots next, I believe. I think that would be a lot better than the one I've got. These armor knee pads are from Amazon, I believe. I actually painted the underlayer yellow to kind of bring out the uh, different colors that Batman has had in previous suits. And these gloves came yellow, but I ended up spray painting them and covering up the logo here with uh, a bit of material. To make bits of the suit look a bit more worn, uh, I actually added these little scratch marks in, and I'll just call them battle damage. So as you can see, it was originally yellow, but I made it to match the rest of the outfit. Uh, but I kind of like the yellow underneath. It kind of adds to the suit, makes that look a bit more worn, like he's adding upon armor. The cape is just a big piece of leather that we managed to kind of overlap on itself and also add buttons on. And I have a button on my actual suit in the middle and on each shoulder so it kind of doesn't fall off when I'm moving about. I also have this neck piece which is kind of like a scarf but it just wraps around. At the bottom of the cape I actually added the uh, triangular pattern, match that up with the, the classic look of the cape that I usually has in animated shows and whatnot. Before getting the chest piece this is what the suit was going to look like but over time I sort of just grew not to like it so we got the chest piece to cover it up. We kept the actual suit though and we sewn grey on the sides and we put a muscle suit in it to kind of add on, just make me look bigger, you know? <laughs> the chest piece is actually from Etsy and it does come with a back piece but I tend not to wear that but I spray painted above anyway, primer grey, just to be sure that the colour was going to stay on. Finally was to create the symbol and it took a while to choose which symbol but I ended up going with this one and I cut a gap in the piece of paper and then sprayed inside. So this is the original helmet. Uh, it came, it fit fine, but the sides of it actually needed sanding when I worn it. So I was very careful not to ruin it by doing that. So yeah, as you can see in this clip, the sides are actually coming off because the jaw is actually detachable, but it needed a bit of sanding just so it could stay on. Inside the cowl, just to be sure it was going to fit, I added this little bit on, just for a bit of comfort really, and to make sure that the helmet wasn't going to just slide around my head. I also wanted to get a 3D printed one because I knew I was going to be taking the helmet on and off quite a lot, so it needed to keep that shape, and getting other kinds of helmets just wasn't going to be it. So, to sum it all up, the boots I already had, I just made sure that they were permanently black, so I spray painted them. The chest piece is from Etsy, and spray painted that grey, primer grey, and then went over it with a symbol. Uh, with the actual suit, we have a muscle suit underneath, and we sewn grey on the sides. The trousers are just actually cargo trousers that I had. The gloves are from Amazon, which I spray painted grey to match up with the rest of the suit. The helmet is from Etsy. The utility belt is from Amazon I believe. And I just painted the buttons yellow. The arm and knee pads we just painted the underlay yellow. And sprayed the top grey to match with the rest of the suit. The cape is actually this big piece of leather which we put buttons on to match the suit. And we, on the suit we actually put buttons so they stay attached and don't fall off. And then on the bottom of the cape as well, we added the triangular pattern, which you can see in like the Batman animated shows and whatnot. So I just want to thank my mom and dad for helping me get the pieces together and actually making this cosplay happen. So thank you again. As for everyone else, uh, I just want to say thanks for watching and hopefully you check out other projects our Batman is in.
Barry, do you want a drink, Barry? <laughs> uh, That's not the voice, by the way. <laughs>